Water Sanitation and Hygiene Research Group is one of the 10 research groups in the Center for Communicable Diseases at ICDDRB. Dr. Lin Unikum is the head of WASH Research Group at Center for Communicable Diseases. The mission of the WASH Research Group is to conduct research that aims to reduce disease burden from inadequate hygiene, poor water quality and inadequate sanitation in Bangladesh. Worldwide, 780 million people remain without access to improved drinking water. In Bangladesh, about 80% of all diseases are linked with contaminated water and 28% of children's death is attributed to waterborne diseases caused by pathogenic microorganisms. Evidence from randomized controlled trials suggested that point-of-use water treatment may reduce diarrheal disease, but the methods for water treatment have been poorly adopted and inconsistently used among the low-income household. Mr. Shupriyo Dash defines himself as an independent inventor. With a formal education in electrical engineering, Shupriyo decided in 2002 to leave the security of his regular job and pursue a career in technology innovation for the poor. After a long period of lab research and development, he invented a device called Zimba that can chlorinate thousands liters of water automatically at their share water point without the help of electricity and with minimal behavior change. To achieve a goal of WASH Research Institute and to reduce the disease among the poor, Dr. Nu Amin along with Stanford University conducted a study at Mirpur Slam to provide a simple automated method to treat the household water with minimal behavior change. Chlorine-based water treatment is very common in all over the world and it requires free chlorine in the water so it, it provides uh, uh, required amount of chlorine in the water, particularly it prevents the recontamination of water, which is very common in uh, low-income countries, particularly in Bangladesh and other as well. And Zimba is an automated chlorine dispenser that provides uh, automatically a required amount of chlorine in 10 liter batches of water. Zimba has got a lots of advantages. Among them, one of the important advantages is no electricity is required for Zimba, which is not predictable in low-income countries. No moving parts that that requires in the Zimba because it has no moving part like siphon, like uh, uh, piston and any valves. So it prevents replacing of the devices frequently and also size of the vessel of water collection is not so important. in. In, in case of Zimba uh, that requires minimal be behavior changes. After three months of trials, Dr. Amin found that Zimba automated chlorine dispensers provided accurate and consistent dosing of chlorine. Treated water consistently contained residual chlorine that was within the limits that are considered safe for the drinkers and sufficient to inactivate pathogens. The Zimba successfully reduced E. coli and a total coliform contamination in drinking water. Shupriyo Dash also suggested that Zimba has some limitations for communities where there were many people that queue for the same water point as time taken when queuing for water can be a barrier to collecting treated water. Efforts to improve the user interface to make it quicker to obtain treated water, preventing lengthy queues should be considered before commencing scale-up.